what's up? Skoshot of 4 here. Today, I'm going to be talking about which agents you should be unlocking first in Valorant. When you first start playing, you start out with 5 agents that are already unlocked. These agents are Sage, Silva, Jet, Brimstone, and Phoenix. But the rest of the agents require you to play the game to actually unlock. So today, I'm going to be covering the two agents that you should be unlocking first. The reason I'm covering two agents is because that's how many agents you get with the initial starting contract. After you finish this starting contract and unlock your two agents, you'll have to start a contract for the other agents to unlock them, which will take much longer. So I'm going to be telling you which two agents to unlock first and why. So let's get this started. The very first agent that you guys should be unlocking is Raze. There's a ton of good reasons that Raze should be the first agent that you unlock. To start out with, Raze is really easy to play and really easy to learn. She doesn't require you to have a whole lot of map knowledge or really any knowledge about the game to be played properly. Her abilities are very straightforward which makes her super easy to just pick up and play. Kind of like Jet, except Jet is an utter piece of garbage and Raze is actually good. All you Jet players out there, you're not getting any sympathy from me. We all know you came from Fortnite. Raze has grenades, which are perhaps the easiest utility to use in pretty much any video game ever. You find out where the enemies are coming from, then you toss a grenade and wait for the boom boom boom. And well, that's actually the same thing that her boom bot does. You just set it down and it will find an enemy, track them, and then blow up. And her debt packs do the same thing you toss them out and they blow up as well oh yeah did i forget to mention that her ultimate is a bazooka you know i think Ray's may actually be a pyromaniac so yeah if you were to sum up all of Ray's abilities in one word it would just be boom so she's very straightforward and pretty easy to learn which is a definite plus another thing that makes Ray's so great is that she's very self-sufficient when you first start playing the game, team coordination is, well, probably going to be at a minimum, shall we say. So because Ray's is self-sufficient, she doesn't require you to rely on your teammates to actually play well. This will allow you to help learn the mechanics of the game without having to be coordinated with your team at the same time. Being self-sufficient really helps you out in so many ways. Another thing that makes Raze a great choice for one of the first agents you unlock is the fact that she's super versatile. A lot of agents generally tend to be more powerful on either attack or defense. For instance, Viper excels on defense, but on attack she's just not as powerful. Another agent like this is Reyna. She's completely broken and overpowered on attack, and she's also completely broken and overpowered on defense. Wait, <laughs> that's not balanced at all right fix your game but as i was saying most agents are a little bit more powerful on either attack or defense however raise is pretty balanced on both sides raise is a great defender because she can stop any push right in its tracks as soon as you see one of her explosives coming towards you you're going to be a deer in headlights there's no way you're actually going to push through that so on defense she's great at stalling pushes buying time and getting kills and on attack, she's incredibly useful because she can flush out any enemies that may be hiding. If you think an enemy is in a corner, just chuck a grenade in there and either they'll move or they'll die. Or you could throw your boom bot down, or use your rocket launcher or your death packs or any one of the thousand explosives that she has. Point is, she's really good at flushing out enemies, and there's not a lot of agents that can do that and do it as well as she does. So Raze is pretty solid on both attack and defense. And the last reason I think that you should be unlocking Ray's first is because she scales up well. What I mean by this is that she's really good against lower level players and she's also good against higher level players. So if you start to improve and you get really good at the game. Are you serious? Then Ray's will still be a viable option and a good character to play as. So that's why the first agent you unlock should be Raze. Now let's take a look at the second agent that you should unlock. The second agent you guys should unlock should be Cypher. And the first reason that Cypher is such a good agent to unlock is actually the same reason that Raze is such a good agent to unlock. Cypher is very self-sufficient. 
just like raises. You can play him by yourself without any support from your teammates and still perform quite well. In fact, Cypher is pretty much designed from the ground up to be a strong solo agent. His camera, tripwires, and cyber cages allow him to completely lock down any bomb site. You can easily defend a bomb site all by yourself without any support from your teammates because you have lots of tools available to gather intel on where the enemy is and when they are pushing. This lets you slow down the enemy enough to buy your teammates enough time to rotate and support you. Cypher really is the king of solo play. Another reason that Cypher is a great choice to unlock is the fact that he is easy to learn but it takes a long time to master him. Now you might be asking yourself, why is that a good thing? I want to be able to master an agent now, I don't want to have to spend a lot of time to learn him. Well the reason this is a good thing is because when you first start playing Cypher all of his abilities seem pretty straightforward and easy to use, because they are. But the more you start to play, the more you will find unique and interesting ways to place his cameras, or to place his tripwires, or to use his cyber cages. And this allows you to become a much better cypher player the more that you play him. He's strong when you start out, and he will continue to get stronger the more you understand how to use him. This is good for really two reasons. First, it allows you to develop new strategies and new ways to exploit the enemies. And second, it's really fun to just play an agent and keep learning new ways to use them. So I think this is one of Cypher's biggest selling points. Now another reason you should be unlocking Cypher is because his abilities help to make up for a lack of game sense. Now this doesn't mean that if you're a stupid player, you're suddenly going to be an Albert Einstein player. That's not what I mean. As a new player, it can be very difficult to accurately predict where the enemies are going to be pushing from or when the enemies are going to be flanking you. And this will cause you to die a lot from unexpected pushes and unexpected flanks. However, if you're playing a cypher, you can place your tripwires down where the enemy could be pushing from. That way you won't be caught off guard if they decide to suddenly rush you. Additionally, you can always place a tripwire behind you, that way you don't have to worry about someone flanking. You will always know when an enemy is trying to stick up on you or push ahead when they think that you're not looking. His camera makes it even easier for you to not get caught off guard. If you want to watch a certain place on the map, all you have to do is simply put your camera down and check it every once in a while. Then you will be able to see if the enemy is deciding to push from there. So you can see how Cypher's abilities help to make up for a lack of knowledge. Which is very helpful if you are a new player because you're going to suck. Badly. And Cypher is going to help you suck a little bit less. And finally, Cypher is always useful. Unlike other agents who are only useful on certain maps and in certain situations, <clears throat> yeah. Cypher is pretty much always a viable option. It doesn't matter if you're soloing a site or backing your teammate up or even entry fragging. Cypher can do it all and he does it all fairly well. He's always a good option to pick and you never have to worry that you chose the wrong agent when you go with Cypher. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and I hope that you learned something. If you would like to see some more game winning content, just smash that subscribe button down below and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.